Wrapped around your phone is an ultra-thin, ultra-strong piece of body armor. Hard to believe, this is glass. That is the hottest thing I have ever felt. Here, in the test labs at Corning Inc. back in 2006, Steve Jobs asked for the impossible, turned something fragile into something indestructible. So that was his request. I need a transparent material that doesn't scratch, but at the same time, if someone happens to drop it, Ooh. that it is highly Before damage resistant. A... Here we go. Corning's answer, Gorilla Glass. And today, it covers the screens of over 1.5 billion devices from 33 brands, including Samsung, Sony, and of course, Apple. Whether it's what you carry in your pocket on your cell phone, or your computer, or your television set, about 50% of the time you look at one of those, or more than 50% of the time, you are looking at our glass because of that invention. Fusion makes it all possible. Two streams of molten glass flow down a form and unite to create a single pure sheet. Its interior is untouched and nearly flawless, eliminating stress points, so the glass resists cracking and bends without breaking. I'm pushing as hard as I can. That's right. And I can't break it. Hardcore science from a company that made Thomas Edison's light bulbs in the 1880s and America's first oven-to-table cookware in the 1950s. If something has the style she wants, and the usefulness she wants, chances are she'll buy it. The next breakthrough for Gorilla Glass? Curved, bendable glass, allowing the product to have a variety of new applications way beyond consumer electronics. We've begun to work with uh, a bunch of other industries like automotive, architectural, and appliances to combine glass with other materials and give it something unique. Call it breaking the mold. We're doing a brand new gorilla probably every 18 months. How many patents are you up to now? 135. 135, 135 patents? Right. Me and Thomas Edison are In all of these other businesses, they have different cycles, but we continue to put ourselves out of business by inventing new things. Because if you want to be around for another 160 years, you better be renewing yourself. Renewing yourself and keeping your eye on the ball. Let's go. That was, that was my best shot. <laughs>